In today's Your Healthy Family, following up on our last story with a local audiologist, Dr. Michael Eiliff, about the FDA's recent move to make some hearing aids available without a prescription. About 20% of those people who have hearing loss actually do something about it. And part of that is because of cost. While over-the-counter hearing aids will remove that barrier, many people will still likely be resistant to even the thought of hearing aids. There was a study uh, done, I forget how many years ago, uh, and what it the, the question was, if hearing aids were free and invisible, would you wear them? And the, the, a surprising number of people said no, that had hearing loss. Whether it's embarrassment or simply not wanting to admit there's a problem. So it's not just about cost, it's also about, you know, I, I'm not ready to accept this. It takes the average person about seven years from the point that they recognize they have hearing loss till they do something about it. I don't know why there's more of a stigma with hearing loss than anything else. Um, vision, people will put glasses on, no problem. Dr. Eiliff hopes now that more low-cost hearing aids will be easier to get, more people will seek help, but it should always start with a detailed hearing diagnostic. This might help is if they can get an option for them to improve their hearing a little bit, see the benefit, and make sure that they uh, connect with a professional then they're treating their hearing just like they're treating their vision. They're starting to get an improved quality of life. So um, anybody who's hesitating, there's nothing wrong with getting a, a test um, to see where you're at and to at least know your options. Uh, whether you do anything about it or not, well, you know, that's the, the beauty of this. You, you, people can make their decisions and, and uh, that's perfectly fine. If you're ready to explore your options when it comes to hearing aids, what's now available for people with mild to moderate hearing loss might surprise you. There, there's starting to be less of a stigma because the, the introduction of like AirPods or Bluetooth devices has made it less of a um, thing that people are looking at. In our next story, Dr. Eiliff will talk about the over-the-counter yeah, hearing aids already available through his office. That's Jabra. And those are actually hearing aids. These are actually hearing aids as well as Bluetooth devices. And what you should look for before you purchase any hearing aids. For your healthy family and Myra Cronin, for more health stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.